guys welcome back to my bubble and in today's video oh sorry as you can see by the title it is wait, sorry my setup you guys is horrible i hate it my goodness can you see me can you see my hat barely but whatever um it is a mukbang i cooked something really quickly after work it is new year's eve hence the hat the sparkle the beat face um i made rice beans and chicken i'm not in focus like what's going on all right there okay there anyways you guys so as you can tell by the title i am going to be doing a q a part two because there were a few questions that i didn't answer that came in a little bit late and also you know just talking to you about 2019 you guys like how whack was that year like how everything was that year man anyways look at my food my rice looking like a little pyramid i got the beans i got the pollo guisado and of course my corona Not bad. Came out a little salty, the beans, but I can tolerate that. And I got this lamp right in my face because the lighting in my house sucks ass. So I had to know, you know, improvise. What, Darren? By the way, my son is here. Good Say hi. Hi. I play Fortnite and I gave her a custom spoon. Okay, Darren. Anyways, let's look at these questions. Oh my God, I'm so hungry, you guys. I've been running around ever since I got home from work. And now is that I'm able to catch a break. What? Mm -mm -mm. okay so i have a few unanswered questions like i said and let me start with rdg i'm not sure if i answered this but he asks have you been farting any lately i'm always farting like that's what i do um cameron jones asks can you wiggle your ears more i think i can check it out Wait. I don't know if you can see that, but I could wiggle my ears. Um, Lars Cesas asks, "You're divine. Did it hurt when you fell from heaven?" <laughs> mhm. Mm it did, cause I landed in hell. Born <laughs> you, right? Khalil Bowler asks. If you could move anywhere in this world right now, where would it be and why? Um, right now, at this moment, I guess Florida. That's just somewhere I would like to to move. I mentioned this before. I would eventually like to move to Florida at some point. I don't know when. I'm sorry, you guys. I really want you to see my food, but it's kind of like impossible right now. There, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Um. He also asked Khalil Bowler. Asked. Um. Beautiful. Do you ever visit the Dominican Republic, or have you? I have visited the Dominican Republic. I was born in the Dominican Republic. Um. I've been there after, since I came back. Since I came to New York, I came here when I was five. Um, I've been to DR when I was 7, I think. 7, 10, and 15. Those are the ages I've been there. No, 15 and wait, hold on. I've been there 20, 27? Yeah, I was there like three three years ago. Mm, two years ago. Khalil Bowler, again, he asks, what's the wildest childhood story 
if you can remember. I have a lot of wild childhood stories. Um, he also asked, he asked a couple questions, this guy. Um, how many bodies or sexual partners should a woman have at the age of 22? Is 12 too many? Well, um, I don't know. To each his own, I guess. I personally think that 12 at the age of 22 is, a, yeah, it's quite a lot. But that's just me. That's what I think. I don't know. I mean, I, I can't really, I can't really say. Hmm? It's up to the person and what they want to do with their body, you know? He also asked, does Hispanic woman like black men? Because I love Hispanic woman and I only want to be with a Hispanic woman. Well, I can't speak for every Hispanic woman. Um, I know that a lot do like black men. And I also know that a lot of black men like Hispanic women and white women. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I didn't like black men to like got with mine. And you know what they say, once you go black, you never go back. Bomba. Um, have you ever been to Charlotte, North Carolina? No, I've never been to. He, that was also Khalil Bowler. Um, no, I've never been to Charlotte, North Carolina. Exo Lucas. What was your favorite mukbang? Mm. I would say... The loaded nachos one. Those nachos were so good, you guys. Oh my god. My mommy made those. Trayvar Walker. He asks, if a guy had a fart fetish, would you still give him a chance? I think so. I mean, we'd be farting up a storm together. Why not? <laughs> Trevor Walker. He also asks, have you ever farted on someone's face? No, I've never farted on someone's face. Duro Valerio. He asks, do you want to know Brazil? Brazil, um, I'm indifferent to it, honestly. I don't, I never really cared. Ayo Princess asks, what are your current December favorites? Hmm. Interesting. I don't have anything at the moment. Maybe songs? I have like two favorite songs. And one is um Inside <coughs> by um Hood Celebrity and what's the other one? What's the other one? Why are you so pretty? I tried on my other one. I just handled it by Anne Marie. Yeah, those two. Handle it by Anne Marie and Inside by Hood Celebrity. Those are my two favorites for December. Um, Finn for short. He asks, were you aware that people actually like it when you burp and fart? What are your thoughts about it? Um, I've been aware. You guys let it be known every time. Um, what are my thoughts about it? My thoughts exactly are, there's some weird, weird people out there. What's up on the baby? Hmm. What else? It's new. And that's it. That's it, you guys. Those were the questions that I I missed. The baby. She's on some shit. Every time I do a video, she always wanna start her shit.
How do you guys feel about 2019 being over? You guys, we made it through a whole decade. How do you feel about that? Like, I'm so glad 2019 is over. Like, 2019 was by far the most difficult, challenging year for me. Like, just so glad it's over. I'm so glad it's over. Like, I went through so many changes, so many adjusting, so much hard shit. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm just glad it's over. Definitely, definitely, definitely got out of my comfort zone in 2019. Learned a whole lot. Shit, I learned to cook a whole fucking meal. <laughs> um, yeah. <coughs> Learning to take care of two new babies all over again. And I did it all without my mommy who was always around to help or do it for me. I just hope that 2020 is way better. I hope things get easier, or at least I get better, I get stronger, you know, because Lord knows I need the strength, I need the patience. And just keep pushing, pushing. Can you tell I was hungry? Cause I was. And if you guys are wondering if I'm going anywhere, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> I just wanted to get, you know, pretty, dressed up, Beat my face. I was gonna vlog, but it's like, nah. So, you know, cooked up a little meal for, the, for myself and the kids and just threw it on YouTube. You know, got the babies dressed up and now we're just gonna chill. Watch the ball drop on TV. Then possibly watch some Netflix. I don't work tomorrow, so. <sighs> Sleeping in, <laughs> if they let me. Jared! Yeah? What's wrong with her? I don't know. Yeah. Hey guys, I gotta go. Cause this baby is getting on my nerves. Yeah, this is my life. Anyways, you guys, I wish you all a great, great 2020 full of health, wealth, and happiness, prosperity, you know, all the best for each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your continuous support, for the love, for the likes, for the comments, for the requests, for the craziness, for the weirdness. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm almost at 5,000 subscribers, you guys. So please, 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 let's get it up there. Let's keep growing. I'm still here. I'm going to continue to be here. Uh, and yeah, I hope you guys. Uh, I hope you guys have a beautiful night. Be safe. Enjoy. And I'll see you guys next year. Bye. <laughs> Please buy my custom spoon at fanjoy.com. Bless. You're not even seeing it, stupid. Bye, guys. <laughs> what?